26, 2023. This is AI News bringing you the latest news. I'm your host, Matthew, here to deliver today's updates. Thank you for joining us. So, let's dive into today's news together. Let's get started. Chat GPT AI system fails brain teaser test, highlighting limitations in reasoning and reliability. AI system Chat GPT struggles with brain teasers, revealing its lack of reasoning capabilities and reliance on data sets. AI struggles with logic puzzles, raising questions about its ability to learn logical thinking on its own. AI struggles with solving math puzzles, lacks explicit programming for deductive logic, and only shows what a solution might look like. AI struggles with logic in solving puzzles and arithmetic problems, even when analyzing textbooks, due to a lack of infinite data. It's fascinating how AI can excel in some areas but struggle with others. The limitations of ChatGPT's reasoning capabilities are a reminder that, as advanced as technology may be, it still has a long way to go. It's a testament to the complexity of human thinking and the value of our own cognitive abilities. AI Insights Same-sex couples concentrated in West Coast and Northeastern states. Census data reveals New census data shows high shares of same-sex couples in West Coast and Northeastern states. However, LGBTQ individuals not living with partners remain invisible in the data, highlighting long-standing data gaps. Advocates push for more official statistics about LGBTQ populations as the Biden administration renews efforts to include questions about sexual orientation and gender identity on future. The Biden administration has requested the Census Bureau to add questions about sexual orientation and gender identity to the American Community Survey. Citing a need for data to enforce discrimination laws, the Bureau plans to test changes to the survey and address privacy concerns related to AI and re-identification. Biden administration guidelines for data collection on sexual orientation and gender identity include allowing participants to choose whether to respond. LGBTQ advocates say this is important for privacy and safety, but also to ensure accurate representation and advocacy for human rights. The LGBTQ community has long been underrepresented in official statistics, but advocates are pushing for change. The Biden administration's efforts to include questions about sexual orientation and gender identity in the census are a step in the right direction. It's important to ensure everyone is counted and represented in data to fight discrimination and advocate for human rights. Let's hope these changes lead to a more inclusive future for all. OpenAI co-founders WorldCoin raises $115 million for decentralized protocol. WorldCoin a decentralized open-source protocol co-founded by OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, has raised $115 million in a Series C funding round led by Blockchain Capital with participation from A16Z, Bain Capital Crypto and Distributed Global. WorldCoin is built around the decentralized World ID and the WorldCoin token and has onboarded nearly 2 million people already. The capital will help accelerate research and development and growth efforts on the WorldCoin project and the World App, the first crypto wallet for the WorldCoin ecosystem. The WorldCoin project is taking the crypto world by storm. With $115 million in funding, the team can accelerate their development efforts and make the world app a reality. It's exciting to see the potential of decentralized identity and the WorldCoin token. Are you ready to join the 2 million people already onboarded? Trump's latest video showcases the power of voice cloning AI in hilarious parody of Ron DeSantis. Former President Trump posted a video featuring voice cloning AI a tongue-in-cheek parody of Ron DeSantis and Elon Musk speaking to the devil and Adolf Hitler, in the latest sign of AI being used as a political weapon. It's the most prominent yet of AI creeping into the political sphere as a tool to steer narratives or attack opponents. The video is a parody of DeSantis glitch plague launch on Twitter spaces. Politicians worldwide are using AI-generated images for social media, including the Republican National Committee and New Zealand's National Party, Concerns have been raised about AI's ability to distort the truth and mislead voters. Former President Trump recently reposted a Twitter Spaces parody using voice cloning AI. The parody is a joke, but fake images and videos can have immediate consequences if believed. AI is creeping into the political sphere as a tool to steer narratives or attack opponents. Former President Trump's recent video parodying Ron DeSantis and Elon Musk using voice cloning AI is the most prominent yet. While it may seem like a joke, the use of AI-generated images and videos can have immediate consequences if believed. Let's stay vigilant and ensure that AI doesn't distort the truth or mislead voters. 
OpenAI CEO predicts AI takeover of expert domains in a decade, drawing comparisons to nuclear energy. OpenAI CEO warns AI could replace experts in most domains within a decade, comparing it to nuclear energy and synthetic biology, urging regulation. OpenAI leaders say AI must be developed safely and responsibly, but the creation of superintelligence cannot be stopped and must be used correctly. Tech leaders and lawmakers are debating on how to regulate AI research after an open letter called for a six-month pause on more powerful platforms. The race to AI dominance is on, but at what cost? OpenAI's CEO warns of the potential dangers of unchecked AI development, urging for responsible regulation. As we strive for innovation, let's not forget the importance of safety and ethical considerations. AI-powered Nimbus secures $70 million to revolutionize banking with neobanks. Nimbus, a startup that helps banks launch neobanks to attract new customers, raised $70 million in a Series D round led by Insight Partners. The capital will be invested in scaling Nimbus core transaction processing engine and platform for commercial banking. Nimbus aims to boost the success rate of banks' digital transformation with its cloud-based banking solution that offers traditional banks' features like API access, event-driven alerting, and robotic process automation. Boss has become the industry norm. Nimbus, a fintech company, offers a fully managed digital bank solution with a modular platform that reduces costs while maintaining operational excellence. The Boss market is valued at $20 billion in 2021 and is expected to grow by 16% from 2022 to 2030. Although Nimbus did not disclose its customer base or revenue, it is well positioned to support the growing need of banks and credit unions to modernize and meet customers' digital demands. The fintech revolution is in full swing, and Nimbus is leading the charge. With $70 million in funding, they're ready to take traditional banks to the next level with their cloud-based banking solution. As the BOS market continues to grow, Nimbus is poised to help banks and credit unions meet their customers' digital demands. It's exciting to see such innovation in the financial industry. OpenAI's ChatGPT app goes global, now available in 11 new countries, including France, Germany, Korea, and Niger. OpenAI has expanded its ChatGPT iOS app to 11 new countries, including France, Germany, Korea, Nigeria, and the UK. The app allows users to access GPT-4 and use voice input via OpenAI's Whisper speech recognition. However, there is still no ChatGPT app available for Android users. The expansion raises concerns about AI regulation, with OpenAI CEO Sam Altman considering pulling the app from the European Union if it can't work within upcoming regulations. Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai is working with the European Commission to enact AI guidelines. OpenAI's ChatGPT app is taking the world by storm, with its expansion to 11 new countries. However, the lack of an Android app and concerns about AI regulation have raised questions. It's great to see Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai working with the European Commission to enact AI guidelines. Senator Rick Scott introduces Ask Act to protect children from AI, a game changer for parental control. Senator Rick Scott has introduced the Artificial Intelligence Shield for Kids ASK, Act to give parents control over their children's access to AI chatbots. The bill has already gained support from Senate colleagues and parents who are concerned about their children's access to social media sites. Scott believes that government has a responsibility to keep children safe and that parents should be involved if their child is going to see anything with AI technology. The bill is expected to move forward in committee and eventually reach a Senate floor vote. As technology continues to evolve, so do the concerns of parents. Senator Rick Scott's Ask Act aims to give parents control over their children's access to AI chatbots. It's great to see lawmakers taking steps to protect our kids online. Let's hope this bill passes with flying colors. Artificial intelligence, a double-edged sword in creating deceptive content. AI can create human-like content, leading to cheating, fraud, and deep fakes with harmful consequences. Tools exist to detect AI-generated content. AI detectors can determine whether a text, image, or video is created by AI. DARPA and other organizations have created tools to detect deepfakes. The trust in media is crucial for informed decisions. Combining technology, human judgment, and regulation is key to protect against these challenges. The rise of AI-generated content is a double-edged sword. 
while it can be used for good, it also poses a significant threat to our trust in media. But fear not, DARPA and other organizations have developed tools to detect deepfakes. We must combine technology, human judgment, and regulation to protect ourselves from the harmful consequences of AI-generated content. DeepMind CEO to share insights on AI at TechCrunch Disrupt 2023 Demi Sasabis, founder and CEO of Google-owned DeepMind, will speak at TechCrunch Disrupt 2023 in San Francisco. The event will offer insight into Google's recent consolidation of its AI research divisions and the role DeepMind may play in catching up with OpenAI's ChatGPT. Asabis will also discuss Isomorphic Labs, his AI-driven drug discovery firm. Get ready for an AI-filled event at TechCrunch Disrupt 2023 in San Francisco. Demi Hasabis, the CEO of DeepMind, will share his insights on Google's AI research consolidation and the exciting developments at Isomorphic Labs. Will DeepMind catch up with OpenAI's ChatGPT? Let's find out. Thank you for tuning into AI News. Remember, the future is shaped by those who stay informed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for your daily dose of AI breakthroughs. See you tomorrow.